Hi Hayden. This video is for the buyer number 48 that um, we kind of started during the lesson. Um, you know, it has a dotted rhythm. And I wrote in the um, instruction um, sheet, which I hope you received um, and you had a chance to look at. Um, I, uh, yeah, the, that this number 48 rhythm, you know, it goes like this. It's the same as the um the the, the sa, sa, silent night. Um. It's, it's, I, I wonder if that's going to help you a lot, but nonetheless, we really need to make sure that the rhythm is lined up correctly. And I think um, one of the roots of the difficulty in doing this uh, rhythm, in particularly the, in this 48, it might have something to do with the fact it's a three, four time. It's in threes, one, two, three, one, two, three. And um, so, so, you know, you have to really be, you know, be, before doing the dotted rhythm, make sure you, st you establish the three beat pattern. Um, so I, as I wrote um, in the instruction sheet there, which is, which is something you want to do before you even start playing, well, you know, of course you can start, start playing it too if you feel like you've got the rhythm, but this should help you um, you know, figure out rhythm in general. You do have to break down. There are elements to the rhythm, which is how many beats per per, um, per measure, and then you have all those different note values, right? And you don't always play like the same set of note values throughout the piece. It often changes, as is often the case with like the slow movements of sonat sonatas and sonatinas. In fact, I always felt like those, you know, slow movements were rhythmically the most challenging to decipher. Well, you haven't gotten there yet, but nonetheless, it's good to know how to um, approach any rhythm. Um, okay, so I have the metronome at 100. I will start, and I'm going to start by counting the numbers in three, um, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's one, two, three. One, two two, three. And one always gets the emphasis, right? Now I'm going to add the and in between the two and the three. One, two, and 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 three. Okay, say it many, many times until you completely feel comfortable. And then you're going to clap the bold words, which are one, two, and three. 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 So, um, I, I may have given you a slightly faster tempo at 100 because it, it may, you know, um, it may be easier to gauge where the middle of the beats is if you go a little bit faster. If you try this at like a 60, it's, mm, it, it gets a little bit tricky. Let's imagine one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. And it's always a little bit harder to gauge, you know, to fit the notes exactly in at the right uh, at the right timing if the beats are longer. So 100, I have a feeling, is a little bit easier. So one, two, and three. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And so on. 
So, uh, well, and then I guess, you know, you want to play with the right hand with the metronome. And let's do, th let's do three exercises. I think, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's playing E, D, C, Mi, Re, Do, Mi, Re, Do. Now I'm going to do it with um, the measure one, the, just the measure one, w without that tie. So you're going to play. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, next I'm going to play um, as written um, with the tie. So it means that you don't play that two, and one gets longer, right? One, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. I actually saw somewhere that they actually, instead of saying two, which may force you to want to play at two, um, you might want to say one dot and one, two, oh, wait a minute, one dot and three, one dot and three. Yes, I think that's what it was. One dot and three, one dot and three, one dot and three. That, um, it only works if there's only one dot. There are some note values that actually has have two dots. You won't even, you know, I don't think you will see it anytime soon. I don't think I've even see, seen it in the fourth grade book, maybe in the fifth grade book you know, the John Thompson fifth grade book. But um, yet yeah, you can't, instead of saying two, you can't sort of say dot instead. One dot and three, one dot and three, one dot and three. With a metronome, one, two, three, one, two, three. One dot and three, one dot and three, one dot and three, one dot and three. So, if you've got it, if you've got up to this point, then play the rest of your music. Um, I'll play um, number 48, just the right hand, um, without, the, without the repeat. I'll just go straight into the second ending. As you can see, you have a first and second ending. One, two, three. is that you don't even try to play both hands it's you know left hand has its own thing where it has to change position right it's much harder than playing just the right hand if you had to add that onto your right hand you know if it was just like you know then you could play both hands, I think. Like, imagine this. That's easy enough if you had to play both hands. But since you're playing a different finger at every beat, let's just work on the right hand alone. And, and left hand, if you like to practice left hand, just play left hand along with the metronome. Now the, 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 the it's you have to wait until you got the right hand completely down all the way to the end, without ever feeling kind of shaky about the rhythm, um, with the metronome at one hundred. Be able to do that first. Always get that done, and you know, I, I you know at your level, I always say you really have to memorize both sides, right hand and the left hand separately, and then finally put them together. Um, so, uh, yes, bring your right hand up to a perfect level before the left hand comes in. And when the left hand comes in, you know, you, I, I always encourage everybody to work in smaller groups. So, like, do only four measures at a time. If that's hard, only two measures at a time. And then make sure those two measures are perfect before you move on to the next two measures. 
Um, so yeah, always, always much better to break it down. So that's the um, um, so that's all for this buyer number forty eight, and uh, yes, and I'll actually yeah yeah. So there's going to be a next video for the six eight time pieces. Okay, bye.